Hi everyone, it's Veronica here from Vintage Meat Modern and welcome to our Sunday night jewelry party. I'm so excited to have you here. If this is your first time watching, I'm Veronica Stout, founder of Vintage Meat Modern Jewelry and Styling, and I've worked in the jewelry and accessories industry for over 20 years. Our entire collection is hand curated pieces from all over the world, from designers that you know and love, and each week we add rare vintage and designer pieces to our collection. And it is my honor and my privilege to be here with you tonight. So I hope wherever you are from, I am here in the Chicagoland area and we are getting ready to hunker down for a snowstorm this evening. But I'd like to keep everything happy and sparkly with some of our newest finds. And so welcome. And if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments. Mr. Vintage Meat Modern is standing by tonight and he will be letting me know if you have any comments on any pieces. As always, you can find all of these pieces at www.vintagemeatmodern.com slash collections slash new arrivals. Or if you just go to vintagemeatmodern.com and you click on the new arrivals section, you will get to see our latest finds. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. You can always ask them here. You can message me on Facebook or you can reach me at veronica at vintagemeatmodern.com and someone will be back with you shortly. So I'd like to start off by telling you that we have this brand new necklace, which is absolutely gorgeous. This is part of our collection uh, having to do with our upcoming event, the Little Black Dress Soiree. And we are going to be showcasing all kinds of incredible pieces that you can wear with your wardrobe basics. And you can take your look from going from basic to beautiful without even having to step foot in a dressing room. So let's talk about this week's collection. I'm super excited to show it to you and I can't wait to show you what's new and exciting. So let's have a look. So we have so many incredible pieces this week to talk to you about. We are of course in this time where we're just slightly after the holidays. So we're getting kind of excited over our January babies and celebrating with our reds and our garnets. But we're also getting excited for Valentine's Day, which is less than 40 days away. So whether you have a sweetheart or not, it's always a great time to dress up your look and do something sweet and wonderful for yourself. So I'd love to highlight a few of our favorites this week for you and also give you an opportunity to check them out. And as always, this is your opportunity that if you'd like to see anything tried on because you want to hear more details about it or look at what kind of size and scale it is, this is a great chance for you to feel like you are here and part of our sparkle party. So just a few pieces to point out this week that are really wonderful. We have got this absolutely gorgeous ruby domed ring which has got a mill grain detail to it. It is a sterling silver uh, with 18 karat gold over it and it is set with uh, Burmese rubies. They are genuine. Uh, it has a domed shape to it and it has a simple clean band on the back and this is a new arrival this week and you can find that under our new arrivals collection as well. If you love rubies, which I know that you girls do, there is also an absolutely gorgeous ruby lavalier necklace that matches it and goes with it. Uh, these are genuine rubies also and they are set in a higher carrot over a metal and they are featured with some bezel set rubies and this is a lavalier style so it's flattering on almost all neck types and it has a nice longer length with some nice adjustment in the back so this is another one of our fabulous finds this week remember all of our pieces are one of a kind and so our one of a kind designers collection once it sells out it's gone it's gone uh, this is another really truly lovely delicate feminine piece uh, this piece is from the 1940s. It's a 120 uh, 12 karat gold filled piece and it features tulips and lilies. It's a nice link. Uh, it goes all the way around. If you like a floral detail with something that's got a little bit of a garland style to it, it's very simple, very easy to wear. It goes very nicely with the ruby ring even though we're in a little bit of a different tone. 
Uh, so there's something, and then this is new. If you like something that is from our 1970s collection, we've got this gorgeous Sarah Coventry bracelet, which is featuring the amber rhinestones in it. And it has kind of a mod filigree pattern to it within all of the panels. And these two are great pieces if you love to layer. I absolutely adore these pieces. They're simple, they're easy to wear, they look classic with jeans and a t-shirt, or you can totally dress them up or dress them down. I think another really great thing about these pieces is that these pieces, this bracelet is from the 1940s, this piece is from the 1960s, and they are both in phenomenal condition. You cannot beat the condition and the quality of vintage pieces plus it's the added bonus of that whenever you walk into the room you are going to be the only one wearing them so these are a few finds that i'd love to highlight now i know we have a lot of girls who always comment how much they love and adore cameos and we just got these pieces in uh, they are both american made the earrings are signed patent pending. Someone asked yesterday about the reflection that is underneath the cameos, and what I absolutely love and adore about these is that what you're actually seeing is the clip from behind. They are a clear cut crystal, so they'll literally go with anything that you are wearing. And they're really simple, really easy to wear. Uh, one of my absolute favorites. So let's have a look and I can try these on for you and you can see how easy they are to transform your look. So I love the clear cut cameos and these are American made. They are signed patent pending. They have the crystals that are behind them. And so you can wear them with anything. And then, you know, we have actually like the perfect brooch that goes with it. So if you're looking to make a set, if you like to wear things in combinations, these are perfect. If you go ahead and you treat yourself to both pieces, you can wear the brooch separately, you can wear the earrings separately, or you can wear them together for a really pulled together, real polished look. This is a great piece to accent on a coat. Cameos go with everything. You can see I have this big gigantic pearl necklace on it and you can even wear it with that it's a really great real simple easy piece to wear so this is one option especially since we're talking about um, great statement pieces that you can mix and enjoy over and over again and this is a 1960s cameo so it's a Victorian revival piece but the nice part about the cameos actually from the 1960s era and then them being the Victorian revival is that it still has that very modern timeless feel to it but you still get that romantic quality that you love and associate with the cameos uh, from the Victorian era. So this is a really super great find. If you like a longer cameo and you're looking for something that's on a necklace, we do have another clear cameo with a larger setting on it. Uh, this is again a reversed carve, so it's an intaglio cameo. And again, because it's clear, it's gonna go with whatever you're putting it against. So if you wear a lot of black, you wear a lot of white, it's gonna show up against the red, but it's, Subtle, but yet it still makes a very classic, fun statement. And again, nobody else is gonna have something like this when you walk into the room. It's really super unique to you. So now let's talk about the fun and the funky. We've got some really great pieces from some designers on here too that we know and we love. We absolutely love, love, love Kenneth J. Lane. I mean, who doesn't? He was the king of costume jewelry. Uh, he had a very wild and uh, boisterous personality, but his jewelry was really incredibly well made and it's very collectible. I mean, we are very sad to hear about the passing of Mr. Lane this year and we know that as a result of that, that his pieces are actually going to go up only in value. Uh, but his pieces are such a great quality that you can, he was the king of costume jewelry and so many women loved and adore him. Jacqueline Kennedy wore him, uh, Nancy Reagan wore him, uh, Diana Verland wore him. I mean, so many women loved and adored him and still love and adore him today. So we've got some really great pieces under the new arrivals uh, that are from Mr. Lane, including this great Art Deco bracelet which has got the diagonal set squared links, and then they each have a little dot of red enamel in the middle. So it's perfect for this time of year. It has just a little bit of a pop of color. It has the really gorgeous glistening stones, so they're really sparkly, adds a little bit of sparkle to your outfit. And you can wear this either alone or you can wear it with your fine jewelry, and it looks really great with that. And so that's another new arrival this week. Uh, it looks really pretty actually also with the pearl bracelet that we have that has the heart clasp on it and the heart toggle. Um, you know, you can layer these pieces up together. I mean, I'm always a big fan of go big or go home. Uh, so they're super easy to wear and you can totally pick this up and they're a total steal. 
Um, this one is $95, and if you've never signed up for our gift card before, you can even take an additional $10 off by signing up for our gift card. And this pretty pearl bracelet with the heart toggle on it is only $48. So that's a great treat for yourself or to send to somebody special in your life uh, to get ready for Valentine's Day. So tag your besties and uh, tag your husbands too. Now another piece that's super fun that we absolutely love from Mr. Kenneth J. Lane is this absolutely fabulous lipstick brooch. It is super cute. It is a fire engine red and it's accented with the black enamel and the pave set rhinestones. It is hallmarked KJL on the back of it. We had two of these, one of them already sold. One of them was actually for my personal vintage collection. And I have red tonight on so it doesn't really make it pop with that. But this looks so cute on a jean jacket, a white shirt. Uh, it does actually look really cute on the red sweater. You can layer it with other pieces, like the little heart brooch that we have. If you like to do like a little menagerie with your brooches on your jackets and your coats, this is a really, really super fun find. It's gonna be super collectible. You can certainly enjoy wearing this one over and over again. You're gonna get a ton of compliments on it when you wear it. Uh, it also looks really super cute with the puffy heart ring that we have. We have a puffy heart ring that's got the black enamel and the pave set rhinestones on it. Uh, again, really easy, really fun, just kind of fun and funky, super cute, really easy. They go together so nicely. You can totally enjoy getting to wear this over and over again. And there's so many other pieces that mix and play so well with these classic gold tones. You've got the puffy heart ring, you have the enamel necklace with the pave set rhinestones and the heart. Uh, we've got these fun earrings from Joan Rivers, another person who took incredible detail when it came to her pieces and her earrings. Uh, this would make a lovely set all to wear together. We have got this great classic 1960s bracelet with the cupcake setting. This has got real gold leaf blown into the lucite, so the red brings out uh, the red in the necklace and it also goes very pretty with the black. Super cute, super fun. Uh, you know, you can build so many fun and pretty little pieces together for your collection that you can either wear now or you can wear it together forever. And so these are some of my favorite pieces that we also have that are part of our new arrivals collection. I have this a nice week. comment here. Uh, Crystal yes. Glover says she loves the KJL Lippy Brooch. Yes, well, she has one coming into the mail for her this week. Yours will be shipping out. Keep in mind that tomorrow is a postal holiday, so if you placed orders over the weekend, you most likely won't get your things probably until Wednesday or Thursday. But you can rest assured everything has been shipped and that you can look forward to your tracking numbers. Uh, just keep in mind that tomorrow is a postal holiday. Uh, speaking of red, though, and other great pieces that we have, have. We've got this incredible sparkling big huge red rhinestone brooch, but what I really truly love about this piece is that it can also be worn as a pendant. It does have a loop. I know you can't see it right here, but there's a loop with a bail on the back of it, and you could attach this to a silver chain or a black cord. Uh, it looks really dynamic. You can wear it monochromatically like I am with a red on red, but you could also wear it look very stunning against black. The other thing is this is a great accent piece if you wear a classic uh, dress. If you are looking for something to put maybe on the strap or maybe the accent right in the middle, this is another great piece and it has really phenomenal fire color to it. It has just a hint of Aurora Borealis, so it also sparkles and picks up those sort of rainbow tones. It goes very, very nicely uh, with this BSK bracelet that we have. The BSK bracelet also has the red rhinestones <coughs> in it. And it also has red rhinestones mixed with it with the Aurora Borealis. So again, this is another really great piece. And it's set in a really, really pale gold tone. So if you don't like a real super traditional red, uh, this is a or traditional gold. This is a great piece because it's so pale. It almost looks like it's a silver tone. Uh, but the plating and everything is in absolutely perfect condition and it's a great piece to either wear alone or layered and you know you can wear this with a pair of classic gold earrings um, you know you can wear it with the cameos just a really great all-around fun piece now for our girls who like things that are a little bit of an older decade we did get in these really pretty carved um carved 
Lucite earrings from the 1940s and they're like little teeny tiny roses and they're screw backs. And if you are new to wearing clip earrings, I always tell people you should maybe start off by wearing the screw backs because the screw backs are really easy to adjust and you can take the tension and you can make them less, you can make it more. Uh, if As the day goes on, you find yourself, some people find themselves their ears swelling a little bit and they need to loosen them. Other people find that the longer that they wear them, they need to tighten them up because their, hair, their ears get used to wearing them. But these are a really super nice size. So if you know someone who collects like uh, older plastics, thermoplastics, uh, Art Deco, uh, Bakelite, these would be a really cute addition to someone's collection. And they are a steal, they're only $40. Plus we ship for free in the US. If you ever have any questions about international shipping, of course we ship internationally. We ship all over the world weekly uh, to many different people. Another really super fun find uh, that we absolutely love is we've got this really great little vintage Avon ring that has a heart band on it. Uh, it's got little tiny hearts going all the way around the band. That's a fun one and it's got sort of a garnet color inside of it also. Vintage Avon jewelry is very collectible and in addition to it being very collectible, uh, it's very well made. It really holds up. It takes, you know, it's very easy to take care of and this one has nowhere to the plating. And also it has um, you know, a lot of sparkle left of it also, and it goes well with a lot of other pieces. So if you're looking to start a vintage collection, but you're really unsure about where to start, uh, rings are actually our most popular item at Vintage Meet Modern. We sell rings like crazy. Uh, they are our most asked for and most requested item, and it's always nice to have a nice classic band to go with everything. So those are some of my favorite pieces uh, from this tray. Don't forget, we also have these really pretty uh, gold rose earrings. Uh, they go so nicely with so many different pieces. Uh, speaking of pieces that are really unique, we've got this absolutely gorgeous Zoe Coste bracelet uh, from Paris, France. It has a butterfly motif going all the way around. And actually, I really like putting the rose earrings with it because it's kind of like having a little wearable garden. Super cute, uh, really beautiful, really unique, uh, very lustrous and also just great colors, very beautiful sort of garden tones. So those are some gorgeous finds this week. Let's talk about some of our other really super collectible finds. Uh, we have got a fabulous pair of Givenchy New York earrings with the logos on them. These are absolutely fabulous. Uh, every woman should have a logo or a statement piece. This is nice because these are a nice larger size. They go beautifully with the vintage Castle Cliff brooch that we also got in. Uh, the Castle Cliff brooch is modeled sort of after the royal style, like with the Fabergé eggs. Uh, it features a quilted pattern on it, and then it has these little bezel set faux jade pieces inside of it. And then, of course, it's adorned with a rhinestone ribbon and a beautiful little bow. So this is a really great, unique piece. I personally collect Castle Cliff jewelry. Uh, their pieces are a little bit rarer, a little bit more unusual. Uh, they sometimes would be a little bit uh, inspired by nature. What's great about this piece is that it sort of has that very royal, very regal feel to it. It also has a uh, just nice size, nice step, nice present, especially if you are a brooch collector, this would be a perfect one to add to your collection. So I'm really loving that one. Uh, another designer that I collect that I absolutely love and adore is I collect Accessicraft New York. And we picked these up this week. I am also a huge fan of mogul jewelry. Uh, so I like the pieces that take on the jewel tone colors and these are just phenomenal. They have got the sapphire blue, uh, the aqua, the garnet, the amethyst, the emerald, the blue topaz, the citrine, and they're set in a round size. They're just absolutely perfect. Perfect. Nice little flashes of color. And in addition to that, they are a comfort screw back. So we were talking a little bit about how to adjust clip earrings. And I think that one of the best parts and the most luxurious parts of owning an accessory craft piece is their attention to detail and workmanship. So these are a clip earring, but they actually have a screw back. So you can adjust them and adjust the tension on them to make them more comfortable, which I think is just so smart and so genius. And these are a great size. They're really easy that you could wear them for sure during the daytime, and they'd also make a really nice uh, evening statement piece as well. 
So let me go ahead and try those on for you. And then let me talk to you a little bit about one of the pieces that I consider to be one of our jewel box essentials. Now I always tell women that one of the most important things that you can do for yourself is you, you know, load up your jewelry box. You know, after working with women for 20 years, working at Neiman Marcus, working with clients from all over the country, one thing that I have really learned about is do not underestimate the power of dressing in detail. Dressing in detail is actually what makes a woman memorable. It gives her legendary style. And the best part about it is it always fits. Whenever you put on the jewelry, it always fits. Uh, you know, you can wear it throughout all the different times of your life. Uh, and if you invest in classic pieces, like this gorgeous classic Givenchy necklace, if you invest in these types of classic pieces, you can wear them in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, your 60s, your 70s, your 80s. And the best part is the pieces that we select to be part of our collection, they have an excellent quality and they're very well made so that, you know, for example, I'm wearing a piece that's from the early 1980s, but it looks like something that you would pick up today. And it's very luxurious feel. It feels like something that you would see in Cartier or it feels like something that you would find at Tiffany's uh, and it's obviously much less priced and you can wear it with things like I have right on now. I put the Accessicraft earring on so you can wear it either with something that has a little bit of a pop of color. You can mix it very seamlessly with both your designer, your vintage, and your costume jewelry uh, and you can have this really classic put together look. This is also perfect for the woman who travels. Many of the women that we help and that we work with regularly are women that travel for work and they also find that as their suitcases are getting smaller, the easiest way to look put together from the time they get off the plane to the time they do a presentation is by changing their jewelry. And so this is something that if you're interested in and if you need us to help you build the perfect jewelry box, we can certainly help you with that. I'm always telling you that you should collect and covet an incredible collection of jewelry because it will transform <clears throat> your life and your personal style over and over again. And I really do truly believe in the power of being able to look your best by dressing in details. So don't ever leave home without your jewelry. And if you know me, and as you get to know me, I even have jewelry always in my purse because I'm always changing my look when I'm on the go from one place to the next place. Okay, Cindy, or, uh, Cindy from Florida says hello. Hi, Cindy. How are you? Thank you so much for tuning in this evening. And I think you struck a chord with Crystal Glover. She just responded uh, saying me when you were refer when you were just talking about uh, women that are on the go and traveling and so forth. Exactly. So. Oh, I know you do. You travel a lot, Crystal. We're all very lucky to meet you and we're very lucky to know you and you're a Chicago girl too, even though you are on the go all the time. And I think that that's fine. I think that's that I think that's wonderful. I think that's part of the joy of jewelry and I think it's the joy of being able to change your outfit over and over again. I mean, as I'm sitting here with you tonight, now look, I've already gone from wearing that huge gigantic pearl statement necklace to the class a gold necklace from Givenchy and now we're gonna pop on this very dainty very lovely little piece from the 1940s uh, it's an art deco piece with rhinestones uh, and it has a very it has a very charming great Gatsby vibe to it and so if you're like looking for something that is a little bit more delicate but you want something with just the right amount of sparkle I always love to tell people to gravitate towards these pieces because rhinestone pieces from the 1940s and the 50s are made very differently than the pieces that we actually acquire today I don't have anything against contemporary jewelry I am a jewelry lover in all areas and I am a total accessories addict. I never met a jewelry piece of jewelry that I never really didn't like, but I do agree time and time again that you can't you can't find the same quality and distinction as well as there's something about being able to walk into a room and be the only person wearing a piece like this. So I absolutely love this little piece from the 1940s. And as a batted bonus, this piece actually has an extender on the back of it. So you can make it a little shorter. I'm wearing it at the longer length. And you can also very easily, so you can wear this very classically with maybe like a little silver earring or a tiny diamond stud. But then if you were going to a formal event, all you would need to do would be to put the necklace on, pop on the sparkling earring. And if you really, really want to wow them, you can go ahead and you can put on, of course, a vintage cocktail ring 
or two or three. And the look really comes together. It's very easy, very distinct. And again, what you love about this is you are going to receive endless compliments when you wear these things. People are going to say to you, where did you get that from? And you're going to say, oh, I got it from Vintage Meet Modern. And then when they go to look at the site, they're going to realize that what you have is one of a kind and unique to you. And so speaking of things, so building the perfect set and getting to wear pieces over and over again, we have some lovely rings that were added this week because like I said, we have a lot of ring girls. We can't even keep them in stock. That's how quickly they come and they go. This one that I'm wearing a little higher on my finger is a 1940s Art Deco rhinestone ring set cluster style and it is adjustable. So for you girls who do travel or for you girls who like to have a glass of wine, um, this ring is perfect because you can make it a little bit bigger, you can make it a little bit smaller. So if you're new again to vintage, I always suggest to people start with some of the fun vintage uh, adjustable rings because you get the flexibility of either being able to wear it on different kinds of fingers or you can feel really good about if you're not 100% sure on your size or if you're in between sizes a lot, the adjustable rings are always a way to go. Sarah Peluso likes the ensemble. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Well, Sarah, you have excellent taste, so I'm not surprised. I'm so fun that all my girlfriends are hanging out with me tonight. I hope you guys invite your friends so that they can come and hang out with us too uh, because the secret is that if you shop with us, or if you hang out with us long enough, is that it's true. All the pieces that you have will become a true reflection of your own personal style, and that's exactly what we want you to celebrate, is your personal style, and we want you to find pieces that you love that you'll wear over and over and over again. And plus, when you shop vintage, you can feel really good about it because you're being part of the sustainable fashion movement, which means that we're not adding to waste. In fact, we're doing an excellent job of rescuing these treasures because as you can see, everything that we've presented for you tonight is an absolutely fabulous, fantastic condition. You know, some of these pieces that we have out go all the way back to the 1920s and they've got a lot of life in them. And I always say, I wish I knew the stories that the jewelry could tell. Uh, we do work with some very nice clients that tell us a lot about what kind of things they did and where they wore the jewelry and things like that and special occasions. And that means a lot to us when the places that we receive our pieces from our collection, that they tell us about how happy and the joy that the jewelry brought them. And now I hope that the collection that we present to you will bring you much joy and happiness and compliments too. So let's talk about a few other pieces on the board. And again, right now, if you're seeing anything that you're absolutely in love with that you have to have, just head on over to VintageMeetModern.com and you can check out all of the pieces that are featured on the board tonight that we've been talking about are all under the new arrivals section. Ann McIntyre says that is a wonderful necklace. Oh, thank you, Ann. I know this is another pretty one. Ann is another loyal fan and follower, and we are so grateful to have her. It means so much to us more than you know to be supported by our community and to have so many regular return clients. Uh, on a side note, I once spoke with somebody who said to me, you know, you have so much repeat business. Uh, doesn't that make you a little nervous sometimes? And I said, no, it's the best compliment we could ever have uh, because part of it is, is that when you sell one of a kind and you sell unique things and stuff like that is there really is something new every day. We had a client here yesterday picking something up and she said, um, I, I don't know what you do. She says, I said, you know what? And I said, it's true. Every time I look at the tray, I see something new. Every time I see something, I think of a different way to wear it. Uh, so now we all think about white as a color that we associate like within the summer and in the spring and things like that. But I actually really love to wear white in the winter because we have a tendency to wear darker colors. Uh, forest greens, reds, navies. And I think that white, it's a classic neutral. It goes with everything. So I always like to try to tell people that you shouldn't think twice about wearing a white milk glass or a white piece, especially in the winter, because it's a great way that if you are not a big color person to add a pop or a bit of flair to whatever it is that you're wearing. And this is a really great piece. This is a milk glass piece from the 1950s, but you can't really see very very well, but this piece actually has a Gaviri glass rhinestone. So it has a rhinestone in it that's very unique. It has a 
crystal, but there's like a blown white color that goes through it. Uh, it's very, very lovely. This piece is even more beautiful in person than it is either online or even on video. And I would certainly suggest that you should check it out. It kind of has the same swirls that are going on actually in the painting behind me. Uh, another really super fun piece that we have is this milk glass brooch, which features these beautiful prong set marquee and prong set milk glass, but it also has these large oval stones, and the oval stones are lucite, but they actually have emerald cut rhinestones set in them. And again, it's a really great piece, super fun. If you prefer gold tones, this is a really easy one to wear with a pair of uh, gold rhinestones studs or diamond earrings. This is another piece that can really pull together your look if you need something to go on your coat. For those of you who know and for those of you who are on, and I certainly know Crystal, a few other people who are here visiting with us and everything, we are in Chicago. Don't neglect your coat, girls. Put a brooch on it. Uh, now is the perfect time of year to do that. Unfortunately, I have a feeling that we are going to be wearing our coats for quite some time. And speaking of really special pieces, we have this gorgeous Juliana brooch which is got what we call the Easter egg rhinestones on it. So they're a little bit three dimensional and they have got just the most gorgeous coloring. It has got ruby red, emerald green, uh, splashes of different colors, hints of oranges. And this piece is actually a book piece. It has been featured in the Juliana book. It's been featured in the collecting costume jewelry books. And then of course, who I love and adore, it has been featured in Carol Tenenbaum's Fabulous Fakes. Uh, and we do have a picture of it being actually photographed in Fabulous Fakes. So if anybody knows Carol Tenenbaum and wants to tell her that I am a huge fan of hers and that she should come check out Veronica at Vintage Meet Modern, well, I would love for you to put me in touch with her uh, because I am a huge rave, raving fan of Carol's. Uh, her collection is to die for, and the way that she educates the community on the beauty of collecting these pieces is something that is to be marveled at and really appreciated. If you haven't checked out her book, Fabulous Fakes, you absolutely must. It is a must. Uh, and also, we have the matching earrings that go with the Easter egg brooch. Uh, so, um, there were another question that we had that I know that somebody wanted to see on, speaking of pieces. So, we have this very lovely piece from Carol Lee. Now, Carol Lee has always been known for her pearls. And like I said, so, side note, getting a little bit of sidetracked here. The extender actually goes on the back of this necklace and you can remove it. So this is a very, very well-made piece. This is a super fun one. I hope somebody picks this one up. It'll be a great addition to their collection. So speaking of pieces that are fun and collectible, uh, we featured this as a look of the day a few weeks ago, and then we had a couple other people ask some questions about it. This is the vintage Carol Lee necklace that we have. This was from her higher-end collection. This was from Saks Fifth Avenue in Chicago. Uh, it's a late 90s very early 2000 piece and it is a charm necklace and it features the very high-end Carolee pearls that she's known about and then it has this huge gorgeous array of whimsical charms that go along with it and it's very well made it has a toggle back we all associate the Carolee pieces with you know her traditional very well made pearls and they always have been but it is harder to find her pieces that were kind of the ones that were more statement pieces and look at how great this is on isn't this beautiful it's so fun it has got a huge sun it's got quilted hearts it has a little acorn uh it's like a little good luck charm like all wrapped up in one so this is a really great piece this is under new arrivals too this is 195 dollars. i have never found another one any place i saw it once also in green and i have to admit that the clear ivory pearl is a much more uh fun piece, a much more classic piece. If you like the traditional look of a pearl, uh, the same way that we always talk about with Jacqueline Kennedy, pearls are always appropriate. Uh, but if you like something that's got a little bit of a flair, this would be a piece to certainly consider because it's kind of just stepping out of the box a little bit. And look, I still have that rhinestone earring on. One, look at how fabulous it sparkles. And two, it even picks up the rhinestones that are in the necklace. So how are we doing? Uh, just fine. Carol Amato says, relatively speaking, it's cold in Florida. She wears her brooches on her sweaters. Yay! I love hearing that. Carol, thank you so much for tuning in for all of your support tonight. 
Well, I hope that you have had a nice time uh, hanging out with us this evening. As always, like I said, your pleasure, uh, your support means more than you know, and I really appreciate all of you being here. If you have any questions on any of the pieces, please let us know. We'll be more than happy. Always remember, you can always message us, and we're always happy to do video try-ons. Uh, you can always fill out a wish list if there's a certain designer that you collect, like myself. I collect KJ. I collect, oh, who don't I collect? Who don't I collect, right, Mr. Vintage Meat Modern? Right. <laughs> um, you know, it really truly is the joy of jewelry. And I really do believe that if you dress in details, it can not only empower you to feel and look your best, you will have and achieve your most memorable and distinctive style. So we've had a lot of fun and exciting things coming up this week. I hope that you will pop on and uh, that you will stay tuned for some of those. We've got some fun announcements. If you haven't joined the party over in the Vintage Meat Modern Styling Society, our private Facebook group, you should go and hang out in there because uh, that is where we also release our best discount deals, freebies, and we even give free shipping to members. So you might want to head on over there. And say, say that again slowly. It is the Vintage Meat Modern Styling Society, and it is the group that is linked to our Facebook page. And of course, you are all invited to join us in there. Uh, and is a great place that if you have a collection or if you have pieces from Vintage Meat Modern and you want to show them off, we always welcome seeing your pictures in there and celebrating the joy of jewelry and dressing in details in there daily as well as our daily dose of glamour as well. So I wish you all a really fabulous Sunday evening. I hope you like the new camera setup. We've been really hard at work behind the scenes here uh, trying to help you be able to see the pieces better while we're talking about them at the same time time uh, and as always we are here to give you the best shopping experience that you can find we really truly want to put the personal back in personal shopping and personal styling and so you should know there is a team of people who as a family business that is very dedicated uh, to your happiness as well as giving you the best experience that we possibly can so that being said uh, we have even though tomorrow is Martin Luther King Day we still have orders and things that are going out uh, stay tuned we've got some more pieces coming from Signer Jewelry. I know that you all love and adore them. And if you haven't watched the video on that, be sure to check it out. And uh, don't forget to share your comments and your questions. If you're catching this on the replay later, don't forget everything is under our new arrivals at www.vintagemeatmodern.com. Uh, I'm so grateful and appreciative for you being here. And I wish you all an absolutely fabulous evening. And I will see you all soon. Good night.